guys, it's Kwanda and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry you guys. I have been gone for about a good month. I just want to say thank you so much to my subscribers that, um, that has stuck around and stuck it out with me. I did move, uh, which was why I haven't been doing any videos lately. I didn't get my beauty room like I thought I would. Um, so I'm just going to have to work with the space that I did get. Uh, so finally, I'm somewhat situated to the point where I can start back filming uh, my videos for you guys. I just want to say just thank you, you guys, for your love and support and not leaving me. It just feels so good to be back, to be back at these videos, getting these videos up for you guys. I do have a couple of friends that have decided to get into this makeup journey and they don't even know the first clue to a makeup. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But anyways, um, I was feeling down. I was feeling a little blue today. So I decided to incorporate the way I felt into this look, which actually came out to be very beautiful. So that's why I went ahead and I used this blue. I just hope that my friends that are watching, I hope you will learn, I guess, and understand some of the steps. Um, this is somewhat of a voiceover, uh, just to make sure that you guys are definitely understanding, you know, from point A to point B and so forth. Make sure to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So once again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Good luck on your makeup journeys and your makeup endeavors. I am here for any makeup questions that you guys may have. I'm going to start rambling and let you guys get into this video. So I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, so I'm starting off with my brows first. I always love to do my brows first. You can do it whichever way you like. But here I'm just using um, ColourPop's Brow Pencil in the shade Black and Brown. This is such a wonderful uh, pencil. It's a micro tip pencil. I feel like it gives you so much control when shading in your brows. Um, your brows are sisters. So when you shade your brows in, you want to try and use somewhat of a light hand. I love the fact that this brow pencil by ColourPop also has the spoolie at the end. Um, so you can just blend out the front of your brow to make them look more natural. And I'm going to be cleaning my brows up using Max Pro Long Concealer in NC45. Uh, just to clean under the brow, just to make sure that it pops more. I always love to get my brows very clean and neat. I know I said that I didn't like using the Pro Long Concealer to clean up my brows, but I've been using it lately and it has kind of grown on me. I love the finish that this concealer has. This is like a very good concealer. And once you clean up under your brows, you want to bring that concealer down so that you can blend that concealer away. Uh, the important key about makeup is blending. And I do see a lot of people that don't blend their concealer out that well when it comes down to their brows. All right. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to clean up the top of my brows using LA Pro Concealers um, in three shades, Warm Sand, Toast, and Chestnut. I seen someone on Instagram using these three shades and I really love the color payoff I think it's a very natural subtle color for the, to clean up the top of your brows with it doesn't give you that bold halo effect um, you want to make sure that you're blending that concealer out I'm using real technique a real technique uh, brush and you want to just make sure that you flick that concealer up and you blend out the ends I like to blend until I can't blend anymore now I'm going to be spraying my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to give my face some hydration. Now I'm taking Max Prolong Paint Pot and Painterly. This is going to be my eyeshadow base. It makes the eyeshadow last longer and it stops creasing. It also makes your colors pop more. You can just apply this with a brush and blend it out with your fingers. Moving on to the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to be taking this orange brown looking color uh, by the name of Morocco and I'm going to place that in the crease. Once again this is my transition color. 
And I'm just doing that by using windshield wiper motions, just back and forth, side to side, windshield wiper motions. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, palette in self-made, and I'm going to be going in with the color Buttery. This shade is going to be used for my brow bone so that my brow bone area pops a little bit more. So you want to just apply that color and kind of blend it in with your transition color. Mm. Alright, so I'm going back in with the same brush I used to apply Morocco, and I'm just kind of blending Morocco and Buttery together so I get that seamlessly look so that they mend together. Going back in the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's, I'm going to be taking the shade Kenya, and I'm also going to be placing this color in the crease, but right under that Morocco color. This is just to give the crease a little bit more definition. And I'm just applying that color in the same windshield wiper motions, just back and forth strokes, just building that color up. Now I'm just taking a clean, fluffy blending brush, and I'm just mending Morocco and Kenya together so that I get like a nice look where they kind of mend together. Going back in the Nubian 2 palette, I'm going in the color... Cleopatra, which is this nice blue color. I'm going to pat this color on my eyelid. Whenever you apply eyeshadow to your eyelid, you want to make sure that you apply it in patting motions. That way you can build that color up and you can get a better color payoff. So whenever you are applying eyeshadow, make sure to apply it in patting motions. So taking another clean brush, I'm just blending out the ends of that Cleopatra color and making sure that it mends together well with Morocco and Kenya because blending is key. So you want to make sure that we blend, blend, blend. Like blending is everything when it comes down to makeup and making colors infused together. And just a lot of times during the blending process, you kind of like get lose some colors in the midst of blending. So I'm just going back in with that Morocco color. Now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette in the shade Spirit Rock, which is like this nice black color with purple shimmers in it. And I'm placing it on my outer V. And it's called the outer V because it's kind of shaped in like a V shape so i'm applying it as if it was like a v if that makes sense and this is just to give the eye more definition going in with elf uh, liquid eyeliner i'm going to be doing my wing liner every time i do my wing liner i always have to say a prayer because you know how the struggle is when applying your wing liner both wing liners may not be perfect and they definitely may not be the same all right so when you're applying your wing eyeliner just make sure that you're taking your time i probably will be doing a video later uh just showing you guys how to apply or how to you know get your wing liner on point sometimes you know you have to do it a couple times in order to get it right uh there's different brands and products that you can use that are more easier to get your wing eyeliner on point but I like using this elf liquid eyeliner going in with my lashes these are the cherry blossom and demi wispies here I'm just taking like a light brown color in tan and I'm just making sure that my brow bone color and that Morocco color are seamlessly infused together so I get like that nice faded to bold look and that is just a fluffy blending brush from Milani. Now I'm applying my eyelashes. I will be doing a video real soon on how to apply false lashes. So next 
I'm gonna be going in with Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Water Gel. This is really good with adding that needed moisture to your skin. I love using this before I apply any foundation or any primers to my skin. So for primers, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. This mattes the face. Before you buy any primer, just make sure you find out what type of skin you have. Is it oily, dry, or so forth. But I'm just rubbing that primer into my skin. Primer is a must because it acts as a barrier between your skin and foundation. It also fills in pores. Moving on to my foundation, I'm, I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Total Coverage Foundation in the shade 312. And I just like to squeeze the product onto my face. I spray my brush with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I start to blend out my foundation. I spray my brush because I feel like it makes the foundation blend out smoothly. So that's what I'm doing and I'm just blending that foundation into my skin. It did come off a bit orange to me but it kind of I guess settled and it made it look a lot better. So I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm blending that product into my skin because for some reason I felt like it really took me, it was really hard for me to try and blend this foundation in. That's why I sprayed my face again with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to see if I could blend it out a lot more easy. I don't know, maybe this foundation just has to grow on me. Um, it definitely wasn't easy. It was very drying. So I'm just making sure that I have no streaks. I'm making sure that everything is covered and everything is blended uh, with this foundation. It definitely comes down to blending. You have to make sure that you have the patience because you want your foundation application to be flawless. That's why I'm blending so many times, making sure that foundation is in. Moving on to highlight, I am going to be using Max Pro Long Concealer in NC45. This is a bomb concealer, and as you guys can see, I'm placing that under my eye in like somewhat a, of a V shape, and I'm just blending that out. Usually, I just apply my concealer and blend out using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. But for this video, I'm just going to apply it under both of my eyes. I'm going to do my chin, my cupid's bow. I'm going to do my forehead. And then I am going to do it down the bridge of my nose. And then I'll spray my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then I'll start to blend that concealer out. I'm also using a damp uh, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I just think when your sponge is damp, it helps to blend that concealer out even better. But I was having one issue. It kind of seemed like that concealer was starting to dry. I was having a hard time trying to get that concealer to blend out seamlessly. So that's why you're going to see me spray my face again with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. But you want to make sure that you blend this concealer out. Makeup is all about blending. You want to make sure that the ends are blended seamlessly. You want to make sure your nose is snatched. You want to make sure that you get your forehead. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit more um, concealer to my forehead because the product must have set for a little bit too long and it was like very drying and I wasn't able to blend out. So I just added a little more product to my forehead and then I'm going to blend out. Here's the part where I spray my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Just hoping that it'll give my face a little bit more moisture making it easier for me to blend out that concealer. Taking that same uh, flat top uh, powder brush that I applied my foundation with, I'm using that to blend out the ends of my concealer. 
Now using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm going to be setting those areas while I applied uh, the concealer. I applied a lighter shade concealer in those areas because those are the areas that I want to pop more. Anytime you use a cream or a liquid, you must set it with a powder. I like to use a blending brush to set my face with the powder because I just feel like when you go in full force and start to bake, it makes you look a bit ashy. So once I've set those areas with the blending brush, I then take my beauty blender and then I apply the translucent powder to those areas. Now it's time for me to bake. Now I'm just setting the rest of my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. This is in the shade 800. Remember, whenever you use like your foundation or your concealers, you have to set them in place with the powder so that they do not move and they last you all day. Moving on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I'm going to be taking the shade in... Cabo, I think it is and I'm going to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks my temple and my forehead I'm not too much of a cream contouring girl, but I'm gonna work it out today So you're gonna just blend that Contour color out you want to blend it out make sure that there's no harsh lines or anything you want to make sure that it actually blends in to your highlighted area, so that's what I'm doing Taking Beach Cosmetics Contour Palette, I'm going to be taking the darkest shade because now I have to set that cream into place. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just setting those contour areas into place. And still using that Beach Cosmetics Contour Palette, that darkest brown I showed you guys. I'm using that to contour my, my jawline. Um, I want to make sure that my face looks a lot slender. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm just contouring that jawline and getting rid of that double chin thing that I have going on. Moving on to Max Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in Dark Deepest. I'm using that to kind of buff away that Laura Mercier translucent powder that I was baking with. I do it this way so that it sweeps off the powder, but it's kind of adding that little warmth to it so that it's not that bold and bright. I want it to have I want to have like a natural highlight. So that's what I do. And it's also blending the ends of that out. Going back in with that same contour palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and snatch my nose. I love my nose. You know, so I'm just going to do a little something, not nothing major, just a little something. Contouring is like the best part. Usually when people contour, you know, they're kind of like hiding parts that they don't like. Uh, when people contour their nose, usually they're making their nose look a lot smaller than what it is. So that's what I'm doing here. I love my nose but I just want to contour it a little bit. I'm going in with the Beauty Blender and that's just to make sure that I don't have any type of harsh lines or anything like that. And I'm just contouring the tip of my nose also. Going in with my e.l.f. blush palette, I'm just going to be adding this blush to the apples of my cheek. I'm not so much, I'm not really a blush girl, but I'm just going to put a little bit. Moving on to my mineralized skin finish and gold deposit and taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour brush, I am going to be highlighting my cheekbones. I love to highlight my cheekbones because it makes it look like the sun is like hitting my cheekbones and I have like this bomb ass glow. Like I love highlighting. I love, love, love it. And I love gold deposit. That's like such a nice color. Just adding a little bit of that highlight color to my nose. And I'm adding that to my cupid's bow. So it'll kind of make my cupid's bow stand out a little bit more. I'm using Rimmel's Scandalized uh, Cold Pencil. This is actually a gel pencil. And I'm going to put that on my waterline. It works really, really, really well because it's a gel pencil. <laughs> Take
taking that Cleopatra color from the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place, I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash line with that Cleopatra color. And I'm doing that by infusing the black eyeliner and the blue together just to give me like a bluish smoked out look. Moving on to mascara, this is L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I am so in love with this mascara because the wand is so small and it's very easy for me to get up under there and get my lower lashes because they are so small and short and I don't have to worry about putting any mascara on my face. So I love this mascara. This is a really bomb behind mascara. the fun and messy part this is glitter that I got from Ambrosia Cosmetics I'm taking um, an eyelash adhesive and I'm just applying that onto my lid because that's the way that we're going to get the glitter to stay on so I'm just applying that eyelash adhesive and it's going to dry clear and there I'm just packing that glitter on this is such a pretty uh, blue glitter. I'm not sure of the name, you guys. I don't know if it's Dory or what. I have to find that information out for you guys. But the info will be listed in the description box below, okay? Moving on to my lips, I am taking Kylie Jenner's Lip Pencil in True Brown K. This is like one of my favorite lip pencils and I'm just tracing um, my lips. Like I'm just tracing my natural lips, that's all. And shading my lips in just a little bit, that way the lipstick and the lip liner can uh, mint together so it looks like it goes from dark brown to nude brown if that makes any sense so now I'm applying Dose K this is also Kylie Jenner's um, matte lipstick this is like one of my favorite nude lipsticks it's so pretty once again this is called Dose K In completing this look, I will be setting my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Your heart's colder I will wait for you 